All right, Martha, what's going on? We are going to do a color and a design, a slight reverse fade, just cutting it down right now so we don't have to deal with so much hair while we bleach. And what color. number are you using? This is a number four. Okay. Alright, y'all, we show the setup. These are her daily drivers. Yes, sir. Babyless. Look like you team Babyless. Yes, sir. I really like how long the teeth are for fading. It helps me out a lot so that I don't have to go uh, use too many guards. So you, you are you coloring yes. her hair? Yeah. Yes. Coloring her hair and then you're doing a reverse fade somewhere? Sir? Yeah, so I'm going to do a design with the reverse fade oh, in design it. design too? Yes, oh, sir. You, you're doing the work. It's a bar battle cut right here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. I'm trying to do something different, you know? I'm trying to get a different clientele in here. So you're trying to, you're, with your business, you're trying to attract specific clientele, more like creative cuts yes, type, sir. Of, type of deal? Yeah, okay. that's the plan. How are you doing that? Uh, just posting more colors and designs. Um, I've posted so many fades over the years. It's about time I change it. And you're posting just on Instagram? Or? Just on Instagram right now. I'm trying to build my Instagram up. And the Heartbreaker. All right. From Guy Tang. Guy Tang is my favorite colors, my favorite products to use. All right, and what are you doing right now? Right now, this is bleach. We're just mixing it up. Okay. Trying to get it consistent. So Guy Tang's color is your favorite color? My favorite. If I could ever do anything with Guy Tang, that would be amazing. I would love to do a collab with him. Hit me up if y'all watching. So yeah, we just gotta mix right, so this, it up. This is the tryout right here. This is the this tryout footage. Heck yeah, I like it. I like to hear it. Tag Guy, Guy Tang, see if they uh, like Martha it. could do some work. Yeah. With him. All right, so Martha's putting the bleach on now. Any tips for uh, applying this bleach? Um, honestly, just paint it on. You go against, like, different directions against the grain? Yeah, so first I'm just going to slap it on, then I'm going to get a comb, and I'm going to comb it through. Okay. You want to get every every angle. She has, or they have short hair. Uh, okay, thank you. They have short hair, so it's sh it's harder with longer hair. It's easier with shorter yeah, hair. Yeah, with longer hair, you got to do, like, sections, right? Sections, yeah, you got to section it. If you don't section it, then... You will miss spots. Now, isn't there like a uh, burning sensation if you're not careful? Yeah, so if it starts to burn, uh, they're having a chemical reaction. Okay. You gotta wash it out um, if it gets too intense. There is gonna be some like burning feeling regardless because it is a chemical. Uh, you just have to be careful so that you don't actually give them a chemical burn. If you give them a chemical burn, you have to stop the process because you're gonna irritate their head. I've seen chemical burns with uh, Beijing. Boy, oh. with face swollen. I've had a chemical burn from bleach before. Oh, you seen it in bar school? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you have to be careful with that. Well, like, we didn't do a patch test before this, but when I met him, he already had colored hair. He already had bleach in it, so we're good. And this is going to go on for about 30 minutes to 50 minutes, depending on how fast it lightens and how it is treating their their scalp. Right, this is where you start combing it in? Yeah. Okay, and so then, this is how you get it thoroughly through all the hair. Yeah, this is what I do. I don't know. I'm not. So I'm from Washington. In Washington, you're not allowed to color hair as a barber. Oh, uh, interesting. Yeah. Really? Here, yeah. here you can with a full barber's license? Yeah, here I can, yeah. That's crazy. And I got, you know, I'm, I'm very blessed because when I moved here, I thought I was going to get a restricted barber's license mm, uh, and you from got a moving. Full. And yeah, I got full barber because I've been doing this for so long. Okay, so let me ask you a question because this is something I always wanted to know. What is the process? What was the process for you coming from Washington from Washington okay yeah. so I just had to pay if you haven't been doing it for a long time you probably have to go back to school if you want just a barber's license otherwise they'll give you a restricted barber's license can you define a long time a long time six years six years yeah okay, so, so from what I it's got to be a few years at yeah. least probably so from what I've read um, I think every year is the equivalent of a hundred hours uh. I believe so that just transferred over that's cool to know. Yeah. See, a lot of people don't share the, that information. Nah, it, it took me a long time to figure it out too. I'm taking all the excess bleach off right now, you don't want to like leave bleach in places that you don't want it to bleach. You don't okay. want to over irritate the skin. I know a lot of people that put like Vaseline all the way around. Yeah, like prep work. Yeah, you I like, don't. You like more detail work. Yeah, I don't really like more after being the fact. sloppy. Yeah. So Martha did the shampoo. 
So I'm gonna do one more bleach. There's a little dark spot right here that didn't really process. Get it a little bit lighter so the pink can actually stay. Did it work? It did. It lightened it enough where I could put the blue yeah. over it and it won't be blotchy. Martha, you're doing something different. What are you doing right I'm, here that I've never I've never seen somebody do? I'm just putting a little bit of hairspray in to lay it down because I am doing the design on the top. So I don't want the hairs to be like sticking up, overlaying each other. So just a little bit of hairspray. You don't need too much. Gotcha. That makes sense though. So here we go. No, you, you got Okay, I'm gonna lift your head up. So you recline them so... They're more comfortable. Also, it helps me so I'm not like oh, over the top of them. You already have the design planned out in your head? Or yeah. you just kind of going with it? No, uh, I just thought of a design. It looked like you were kind of drawing. Yeah, to see the shape. So I had like an idea of what I wanted to do, but when you get to the shape of their head, it might not work. I want to put it in with a pencil like a lot of people do, and then you have to go in and take it out. Yeah. All right, that's the guy saying stuff. Yes, sir. That's the secret sauce. Yes, it is. This one's a direct dye. So it's a lot easier to use cool. if you're scared to use permanents. This guy got Boston Celtics 2022 oh, champions. I heard of that. So I'm just thinking out loud. Are you going to line it up again yes. with the trimmers after the color? Yes. Clean it up? Yeah. That yeah. makes a lot of sense. And this is just the rough draft, just so I know where to put the color. Where to put the color, yeah. yeah. Makes a lot of sense. You don't want to irritate the head before adding all the colors. Thank you. Grayson, I had a couple beers. Um, we're going to go get a start on this edit and watch the rest of the game. Party. Yeah, it's already looking fire. Thank you. Uh, now the next color. Now it starts coming to that's life. A, that's a cool looking color right there. Thank you. What's the name of this one? This is Heartbreaker by Guy Tang. Heart, Heartbreaker. Okay, Guy Tang, I see you, bro. Guy Tang killing it with the colors. Yeah, man, Guy Tang does it. I love. He blew up crazy from YouTube. Mm -hmm. My his, wife used to watch him like religiously. His bleach, man, I live, but I like. That's the only kind of bleach that I really like. Hey, Georgie, this shot right here looks crazy. We gotta make this the thumbnail. Perfect. Tilt your head back a little bit. Perfect. Probably, uh, probably the best to get out of here. Make sure we touch every corner, look down a little bit. You're gonna try to buy buy a car with fake money? Imagine if you were to give them all that and it was fake money. Mother, you're doing this to uh, speed up the, the processing? Yeah, so you just buy a little bit of heat. It's gotta be difficult when you get closer to the other color. Oh yeah. That's a mix it. All right, so guys, this is after the wash. It came out great. And pastel colors looking nice. Good job, Martha. I feel like they were doubting you in the video. I don't know. <laughs> like the viewers were doubting you for a second. No, it's all good. They can doubt the results <laughs> show. So I, I do charge according to my time. I know that I can uh, do two haircuts in one hour. I basically break it down as if it takes me an hour, I'm gonna, it's walking. Like I'm, I'm basing it off of a walk-in price. Mm -hmm. So I do two haircuts in one hour, that's $50 an hour. So if this takes me three hours, I'm gonna charge you 150. Mm -hmm. That's how I'll break it down. Which is pretty, which is really, really fair to be honest. Yeah. Like I don't want people to be like, oh, that's too much. But at the same time, I still wanna get paid for the time that I know that I can get paid for. And I wanna have fun while I'm doing this, you know? So I'll put my zero line in, I'm gonna get my one, and I'm gonna, it's gonna be closed and I'm gonna use all of my notches. Close. So that's my second click, my third click, fourth click. From here, I just go clipper over comb. You take the guard off? Yes, sir. Okay. Guard's off and it's open right now. So if I have any little ridges like right here, I close it and just hit it. Do you use that um, specific clipper um, comb or do you kind of switch it up? This this is, it has to be like this one. You're used to it, right? You have a system for it. Yeah, it's not flimsy like the other ones. This is probably like the best comb that I've found. I have a couple of these. Uh, it's closed, okay. no guard, and I'm just gonna go through all of my clicks again. 
And this is just rough. I go, I'll go back and I'll detail it after. I just like to set the fade in. I have my half and I'm gonna have it open and I'm gonna fade down with it for my last step. And this method is what allows me to get all of my haircuts done in 30 minutes or less. So I have a little ridge right there. Put my one back on and kind of freehand it over. Is the one open or? It's open, yes. And then any dark spots that you actually see, it could be stained, the skin could be actually stained. So I'm gonna go through it and rub that yeah, down That was first. one of the concerns that I had on like fading with, with fresh color mm -hmm. is the like the skin stains. Yeah, so a lot of people they'll go and they'll buy, they'll buy like color removal. Mm -hmm. You don't oh, need to do that. Okay. So like right there, you guys can see the, the skin is stained. A little bit of alcohol. And this is the main reason why you don't want to put your design in first with the... Because then you won't see the lines. Yeah. Makes sense. And it rubs right off. That works in the uh, on the skin, but not on the hair. Not on the hair, no. Yeah. Okay, I see what you're doing here. See what you're doing here. Trust the process. Yes, sir. All right, so back to the number one closed. And then, and then Martha's going to do... Let's see if I'm learning. After, after it's closed, you do a click up. Every single time, you probably go up what, like a quarter of an inch up, maybe? Every click, probably like a quarter of an inch up. Yeah, you just so hit the line. So one click at a time, go up a little bit. Mm-hmm, you, you just barely tap the line, that's it. And remember, when you're doing clipper over comb, always, this has to be flat against their head, otherwise you're gonna dig. Patch them. Clicking it open, going up a little bit. Click, go up, click, go up, click, okay. go up. So at this point, it's like all the way open and the half guard is gonna bring it all together. You're gonna use the half guard open. Okay, so open. And fade down. And then fade down. You don't wanna go with the half guard closed cause then you're gonna push up your fade. I'm gonna do a reverse fade on this one. Looking fire, looking fire. Yeah, you can definitely see some of the skin, some of the scalp is stained. But that, that fade came out clean and quick. Yeah. All right, so now Martha is doing a reverse fade right here. She's got the colors going, the gradients. So what are you doing, the one open? One open, yeah. Okay. I do that all the time with the guard still on because I'm too lazy to take it off. <laughs> it <laughs> but helps. I know it'll do the job. So six years cutting hair. Okay. What's some of the challenges early on in your career to get to this point? Not just cutting hair, but also like career-wise. It's a really good question. You could think on it if you want to. Yeah, let me think on that. Okay. What about cutting-wise? What was some of what was some of the biggest challenges that, as far as your your creativity, your art that you had like discovering? What was more your style? So I was really scared when I first started cutting hair and didn't really know how to how to do a design, you know? Like I was too scared to make the lines too big or what if the line didn't come out? Is that because you've seen some Jacked or, up. Or, so, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, for lack of better words, yeah. Yeah, man, so I've seen some, you know, especially in barber school, you see some people trying to do something creative and then it just backfires. And so you're kind of scared to do that, you know? And yeah. I learned um, probably like two years into my career that if you're scared, you're never gonna get anything done. Why not try it? If it doesn't look good, if you don't like how a line looks, fade it out. That's my motto now. If, if it doesn't look right, cut it. You're very confident when you're cutting, like you move quickly, and oh, thank you. That, that's why that's why that that like the way you're cutting inspired that question, okay. pretty much. Thank you, I appreciate that. So this is a prime example of what I'm talking about. I don't like how this thick, this line came out, so I'm gonna fade it out. Ah. Just throw a quick little reverse fade in there. Keep it close, open it up little by little. And then the half bar brings it together. Shout out Nate for uh, bringing me to the team. You guys, you guys know uh, Big Head Nate. That's what we call him. He's better known as Big Head Nate. Y'all already know the official Tomb 45 shaving gel. Y'all know the vibes. Y'all know the vibes. I'm gonna start in the back so that when I get to the top, I can lean you back, okay? Mm -hmm. 
Is there a specific razor brand that you like? Yes, it has to be this kind. Okay, I've never, I don't know if I've used the premium. So just so you know, Martha um, went through with alcohol to clean up the blue side. And you can see the difference that made on the fade. Looks way better. I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I forget to breathe when I'm doing this. <laughs> I know, huh? Relax, Martha, relax. <laughs> so you wasn't breathing the whole last barber battle. No. <laughs> the whole barber battle, the last one you did, you wasn't breathing. That shaving gel is pure gold, man. <laughs> I'm telling y'all. Shameless plug. <laughs> That's amazing. Thank you. That's so cool. You sure you like it? Uh, yeah. <laughs>